Frank of the Twelve Gates. Don't appear in this video because we're going to use Bible software. This is what I used to do. It's a little bit more complex this one. We're going to be looking at the seven candlesticks and the seven lamps. Is this the confirmation of the rapture that is mentioned by Paul in Thessalonians and Corinthians? And it just doesn't seem to be any mention anywhere else in the Bible. And rightly dividing and dispensation can explain a lot of things. Some people are coming on here and saying that Revelation has nothing to do with us. I've had somebody else come on here and leave a comment and I'm more in agreement with this. And they're sort of just uh, adding to what I said in one video where I said it's, there's this thing out there that Revelation 412 where St. John the Divine goes up into the clouds. There's a trumpet and he goes up in the spirit. And some people are saying that that is the rapture. Taken in isolation, you look at it, you think, well, how on earth can that be the rapture? It's just St. John the Divine going up. But Mr. Lenny One, who's edited this, he's basically expanded on what I hinted at. This, this old chestnut was going around about four and a half years ago. I remember seeing this, and maybe it went around before that. But he's saying this. I'll put it up on the screen. Revelation 1 12 Patmos in spirit and I turned to see the voice that spake with me and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks now he's saying now look at Revelation 4 the candlesticks or lamp are already in heaven when John was caught up the churches are no longer mentioned this is the only mention I've heard correlated which is Revelation 4 5 caught up and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of God yeah so what we're going to do is bring up the Bible software and we shall go into this we'll go into some cross references and try to get to the bottom of it yeah so if we go to Revelation 1 19 and 20 if we have a look at that let's read it it says write the things which they have seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter this is you know jesus speaking to st john the divine and it says the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches yeah And if we go to Revelation 4, 5 and read that again. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Okay. So basically, I think what is being said here with this theory that this is the rapture is before... There were the seven churches. Jesus mentions the seven churches of Asia Minor. But when we go back to that, he actually says the seven candlesticks are the seven churches. And then basically St. John the Divine goes up in Revelation 4. The churches are mentioned in Revelation 1 to 3. And from Revelation 4 onwards the church is no longer mentioned when st john the divine is up there people i think what people are saying is the seven candlesticks which is the church has now become the seven lamps which are on the altar in up in the clouds up in heaven doesn't it that's what and, and basically they've changed form is the way i read it they've gone from down here on earth to a spiritual form and that would tie up with what is mentioned in First Corinthians and um, and in Thessalonians. You know, we change in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Now the thing is, I have problems with this because what we're doing, we are starting to see things, isn't it? If we go back to Revelation. 1 19 and 20 jesus says the seven candlesticks are the seven churches yeah 
He doesn't say it's the church. He doesn't say it's the seven churches of Asia Minor. Minor. He doesn't say it's the, the seven churches of the church age either, which is what some people are implying. That basically the seven ages of the church, that's what the seven candlesticks represents. He doesn't say that, he just says the seven churches. What is mentioned before and after that is the seven churches where John writes the letters to the seven churches of Asia Minor, isn't it? That's the first problem I have. Yeah? The second problem is when you go into the seven lamps, there's only a few references to the seven lamps in the Bible. And I'll show you a couple of them. Yeah, it's mentioned in Exodus 25, 37, Exodus 37, 23, Numbers 8, 2, and Zechariah 4, 2. Now, if we go to Exodus 25, 37, if we read it, And thou shalt make the seven lamps thereof, and they shall light the lamps thereof, that they may give light over against it. Now, this is talking about the tabernacle. This predates the temple, isn't it? Which is just a, a glorified marquee, I suppose, which was you know like an altar to the Lord and they had to have various things in there various things were made of various metals and woods and they had certain colors and certain numbers of this and certain numbers of that and one of the things that was in there was the seven lamps and then it's mentioned in Exodus 37 23 and he made his seven lamps and his snuffers and his snuff dishes of pure gold yeah Numbers 8 2. Speak unto Aaron and say unto him, When thou lightest the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light over against the candlestick. There's a candlestick mentioned, but it's just a single one. This is all going back to the days of, you know, we're going to the Torah, we're going back to how Jewish people used to show praise to the God and all these rituals they used to do, isn't it? Now, this is the thing. People are saying that the seven candlesticks represent the church. St. John the Divine going up into the clouds is the rapture of the church. And then the, the seven lamps is the confirmation of what Paul talks about where we change form and become spirit in nature. And it says they're the seven spirits of God. But... The only time that the seven lamps is ever mentioned in the Bible is before that and in Revelation. It's also mentioned in Zechariah as well. Let's have a read of Zechariah 4 too. And said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold with a bowl under the top of it and there's seven lamps thereon and the seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof. Yeah. We're getting into prophecy here, isn't it? Again. But after this, there's no other mention of this seven lamps in, in the New Testament. Nothing in the epistles, as far as I can see here. I've done the search, the seven lamps, there's no mention at all. Yeah. If we go back to what Paul said, that they, the dead will be raised first and then the living go afterwards. You know, trying to tie that up with these verses... Can you see what I'm saying? It, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I, I can see it's very clever how it's done, but I think you're starting to see things there because the seven lamps, let's just say St. John the Divine didn't go up. Would those seven lamps still be there in heaven? I bet you they probably would have been because it goes back to the dawn of time when, with Moses when he had the tabernacle, isn't it? So... I personally, I, I can't see, you know, seven candlesticks is the church, St. John the Divine going up, the church is no longer mentioned, which is true, but the thing is, and then it becomes the seven lamps, yeah, and that's the seven lamps is the representation of the church up in heaven, yeah. 
the thing is it just doesn't fit because as i keep saying there is mention if you go to revelation 24 there's people are being beheaded for christ the witness of christ and not taking the mark which is mentioned in revelation 13. the fifth seal there's people killed as well isn't there yeah for, for you know for his name's sake in matthew 24 people are killed for his name's sake as well you know i did a long list of these things the things that go on there and i just think at the end of the day you know we're still here and that's the thing and this i don't think it, it's i wouldn't it's not a confirmation by any stretch of the imagination but it, it's a, a possible it's a could be isn't it and that's all i can that's all i i can say is what it is but just saying that you know he says the seven churches the seven candlesticks of the seven churches so it's talking about the seven churches of asia minor and that's it it's nothing to do with us here now is it it's the seven churches at the time if you read into it that it represents the seven ages of the church then yes it would apply to us because we were probably the, the final age of it yeah but I, I personally i just can't see how on earth that can, he says the seven churches which to me is the seven churches of asia minor yeah you know st john the divine going up into the clouds he hears the trumpet sound yes that it, it correlates vaguely with what paul's talking about but at the end of the day again it's just st john the divine going up he's not the church is he yeah and then finally you know there's the seven lamps and as i said as i proved to you it's, it's mainly the seven lamps goes right back to the torah days when it used to be in the tabernacle yeah that's the tie-in so how on earth can something that's to do with the torah yeah why would that have anything to do with the church so we've become i don't know i really don't know but the more i look at it i think no these verses they don't really tie up but i'd like to say thank you to mr lenny one thanks for the explanation and i think that's what a lot of people are clinging to isn't it they think that's it the church isn't mentioned after that but as i said there are mentions of people being killed for christians you know, christians being killed all the way through yeah and at the end of the day i think we're still here you know we won't be there to the bitter end because at the end of the day nothing survives does it the great heat a heat so unbearable nothing it'd be like mars this planet you know nothing will survive but I just can't see this being a confirmation of the rapture. But anyway, this is Frank with the 12 Gates. Leave your comments below. Maybe you can add some uh, more to that. Maybe you can explain Zechariah 4 too. But that's where I stand on that. That's just my opinion. Peace, love and joy. Keep your eyes firmly fixed on the Lord. Keep your eyes firmly fixed on the Word. And I shall catch you in the next one, which will probably be looking at the Gospels. Yeah, I've got a few verses there, which again, it's going to be the same thing again. I can't hold any promises that that's going to prove that that is the confirmation of the rapture. But we'll have a look at those. I think it's about four of them. Catch you in the next one.